Hi artists, welcome to Teacher Time with Mrs. Panza. For this teacher time, I'm going to show you how to create artwork in the style of author illustrator Joyce Wan. I'm going to plan to show you how to create um, a piece of artwork in Seesaw and then also one if you'd like to do um, drawing materials with pencil, crayons, or markers in the style of Joyce Wan. So I'm going to click Drawing to respond. If you're creating yours in Seesaw, the first thing you want to do is actually come down here to where you have your three dots, select background, and decide what color you'd like to use for your background. That'll be first. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pretzel. We're going to use our second tool on the left. We want to switch our mark to a very wide mark, and I'm gonna change my color to a brown to match the color of the pretzel. I'm gonna use my finger to draw, starting with what kind of looks like a curved line, and goes all the way around, but they do not touch. From there, I'm gonna come back over here and continue that line down. So you have that left side of the pretzel, and then do the same thing on this side. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so you have your background, you have your thick lines of your pretzel. Now I'm gonna go to my marker tool, which is the next tool over, and switch to a shade of brown. And just kind of go over that a little bit to make it look a little more interesting. You can go over it a couple of times, but you still want that bold line um, that we created first to still show up. Okay, so now you have your thin lines. Now I'm going to use my tool again here, my second tool over. I'm gonna switch to black and a much smaller mark. This is where I'm gonna make the expression. In all of her artwork, she creates a little expression for each object. So I'm gonna do the smile, the face and also the eyes. I'm gonna use my small little tool just to add that white mark there. And I'm gonna keep that white on so I can then go and add just a couple little dots if you want to, to make it look like salt on our pretzel. Whoops, I'm gonna erase that last mark. Okay. So once that's complete, if you choose to do that in Seesaw, that you will then hit your green check mark and that will submit it for you. If you're choosing to create a more traditional uh, drawing using drawing materials, then you'll have the surface that you're drawing on. And I would recommend using your crayon or color right away instead of drawing first with um, pencil or crayon, instead of drawing first with a pencil. Okay, so I'm going to create the same type of shape just with my crayon, kind of making those really thick lines. So on the technology, it kind of does it for you. If you're using crayon or marker, you kind of have to create that yourself to make it nice and thick, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing, have my line curve down. Okay, so I have those thick lines. And then I'm gonna go back with my other brown and kind of add some more. And I'm gonna add maybe some lines even around it to frame it if my lines got a little messy in some spots, I can kind of bring those back. So it has nice crisp, clear edges. Okay, so I now have my pretzel. I'm gonna add that expression like we talked about. So adding eyes. Mouth. And adding the cheeks as well. So there you have it. So you can decide which way you would like to create. If you're choosing the pretzel, you can either do it in the app on Seesaw or by hand using traditional art materials like pencil and crayon. Whichever way you decide, I hope you enjoy drawing like author, illustrator, Joyce Swan.